so welcome back guys this is the revision of gross specimens for general pathology so today i am discussing about calcinosis cutis calcinosis cutis so the slide available for to me is like this you can see so let's discuss what are the things we should keep in mind while studying this calcinosis cutis calcinosis cutis first uh, to identify uh, mounted specimen shows cut surfaces of skin with subcutaneous tissue subcutaneous tissue shows whitish irregular chalky areas of calcifications so the sub questions that can be asked to you are what are pathological calcification Pathologic, pathological calcification so this is deposition of calcium salts in tissues other than the osteoid or enamel is called pathological or heterotrophic calcification so the types what are the two types of pathological calcification so the two types of pathological calcifications are dystrophic calcification or metastatic calcification and the metastatic calcification so difference may be sometime asked so definition is Dystrophic calcification is deposition of calcium salts in dead and degenerated tissues, whereas metastatic calcification is deposition of calcium salts in normal tissues. Then, calcium metabolism in dystrophic is normal, whereas in metastatic is deranged metabolism. There is some defect in metabolism. So, serum calcium level is normal in dystrophic, whereas hypercalcemia is there in metastatic. Then, about reversibility, generally irreversible which dystrophic one is irreversible whereas the metastatic one is reversible upon correction of the metabolic disorder then the causes are for dystrophic this necrosis thrown by then hematoma het hematomas etc and for metastatic it is hyperparathyroidism bony destruction destructive then prolonged immobilization etc uh, then pathogenesis of dystrophic is that initiation and uh, progression propagation sorry initiation and propagation uh, then for uh, metastatic it is hypercalcemia at certain sites causes increased precipitation of this calcium salts then common sites it is very important common sites are tuberculous lymphadenitis and advanced atheromas for dystrophic calcification whereas for metastatic calcification common sites are along the epithelial lining of normal tissues like alveolar lining of the lungs fundic mucosa of stomachs etc then the special stains used for this calcium is vancosa uh, aliosarin red and osmic acid stain so keep in mind about these questions while studying these are some questions that may be asked other questions may also be asked so study uh, also study the topics along with the slides so you mainly look for the gross specimens that is available in your medical colleges or your colleges so that you can be familiarized with these specimens i am showing the specimen which is available with me in my college so thank you guys share like and share to your friends also if you like the video and comment uh, if any things that i should include or uh, there are any suggestions from you so thank you guys have a nice day <laughs>